Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to download and install the new .tmod file format for your mods. The first thing you need to do is either google trovetools.net or I'll have a link to this website in the description below if you just want to click on it. And once you get to this website, all you need to do is click on this .exe little picture here and it will download the installer for the trovetools.net program. Now while installing this, it does pop up, you know, as like a little bit of malware here and there, but it's completely safe safe. Um, it is made from Trosaurus and it is the only thing that you can use right now to do this and it is supported by the dev. So you need to do this and then once you have it installed, so it's safe is basically what I'm trying to get at here. It's safe guys. You guys know most of your malware programs pop up here and there for stuff that's pretty safe. So the first thing you do when you download it is you will come up right here with the Trove Source main page. Now this is a cool add-on or program just to have installed if you play Trove very frequently or if you're like a you know you're really into the Trove community. This is a pretty good uh, program just to have because you can see you know how long the launcher or the servers have been live. You can also view PTS. You can view the Trove Source contest, their news, even though we got that news locked down anyways <laughs> um, and then you know you can see the people that are streaming right now i think it's everybody it doesn't just go for people that are only like partnered with trove source or like you know you know quote unquote sponsored and uh, you know you know what i mean um so it's a pretty cool add-on to just have anyways. But the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings because we're here to talk about mods. So what I recommend is you only have your live uh, registry enabled. I highly suggest disabling PTS unless you play PTS frequently because it will try to install your mods to PTS folders uh, if you have them checked. It's going to do it randomly for some reason. It's kind of weird and wonky. So I just recommend unchecking them and then making this your primary, whichever one is your live game. Uh, I also do myself, I have it start, minimize, minimize to system tray, run at Windows startup, and auto update my mods. That way I never have to update my mods. It's a pretty light program, so just have it running in the background. It'll automatically start when you start your computer and it'll always keep your mods up to date. Um, I don't know how that's going to work with the tmod format, but we'll eventually over time know how that works. But the main thing we're here to do is my mods. So I have a couple mods installed. Nine, none of these are in the tmod format because these two do not work in the tmod format right now. So we do have to wait for the mod makers themselves to uh, update their mods to the tmod format, but you can still do it the old way, uh, which we'll go over here in a second as well. But we're going to do it in the tmod way as well to show off both ways so first thing you want to do because you're gonna when you install the new update for trove you're gonna have a completely wiped slate unless you use this program before if you did like i showed previously and manually installed all your mods all your override folders will be gone they will be it's a clean slate so you have to go to get more mods and then from here you can browse the mods what we're going to be using is the mini boss radar which is a new mod from novas you guys know novas i've shouted him out on my channel frequently because he does make some awesome mods that actually enhance your gameplay they don't take away from anything they actually enhance it they're not useless they're you know like it says utility they're awesome so we're going to install the mini boss radar so once you install a mod it's going to automatically take you to it installed in your in your file so it's done we're done we don't need to do anything from here this is the old way uh it's fine as is uh this is this is the old way that you used to install mods. It's installed, it'll work. However, if you want to do it in the tmod way where you can actually enable it and disable it in game, what you have to do is you have to right click it and you have two options. You can either convert mod to tmod or you can use the even more convenient way and auto convert mod to tmod. So auto convert mod to tmod is automatically just gonna, it's gonna build the tmod. You don't have to change anything. It's gonna do it automatically. We're gonna do it the manual way just to show that off. Uh, so we're gonna click, so you right click on it and you convert mod to tmod. So from here, you're gonna see how the mod maker uh, built their mod. So you can see all of their uh, effects files. It depends on what it is. If it's costume, it'll be, you know, a, a texture file. If it's a VFX, it'll be a VFX file, particles, particles, you know what I mean. Um, so you can see all of his files that he has here. You can see his author name you can see what he uses uh, as his picture for in game and then you can you can change everything I highly suggest don't touch anything um, don't touch anything all you need to do because it should be set up by the mod maker all you need to do is click build tmod and now it's going to build it and it is done we now have a tmod format for this file um, it's the same thing as if you right clicked and clicked auto convert 
what auto convert does is going to bring you to this page however it's going to click the build team mod for you that's all it does it just clicks the button for you so you don't have to do you don't have to click that button so it saves one click <laughs> um so that's it you are actually done now now if you want to double check uh to see that it actually built it as a team mod and put it into your team mod folder the way you can do this is you can bring up your pc uh go to your whichever your directory is i have it downloaded through steam so i go local disk c all default directories program files and then you go steam steam apps common and then scroll down i have a lot of games installed <laughs> trove games trove live uh mods and as you can see now it is mini boss radar dot mod so we are done it is not only installed as a mod but we also built it as a t mod now if you do build it as a t mod it does get rid of the override folder so if so say these ones don't work because they don't work as a t mod they are incorrectly built right now as a t mod so if i right click and convert mod to t mod it's going to remove the override file of it and it's going to convert it to a t mod and it's not going to work so you do have to watch out for that if it does not pop up in game in the in-game mod manager then you have to uninstall it and reinstall the mod and don't convert it to a tmod so there's a warning right there if it doesn't work as a tmod you have to reinstall it so it will reinstall as an override i don't know if there's an easier way to do that but that's the way that i do it because i don't mess with mods too much um so as you can see it is a tmod it is in the actual directory this is the directory but just to triple check let's go in game and see it in game so all you need to do is log in and use the new in-game mod manager. Hopefully most of you are aware of it. If you've seen my patch notes earlier, you know where it's located. All you need to do is press escape, go to mods, and bam, we have mini boss radar by Novas. He has not left any notes because this is his new and kind of like beta-ish mod. Um, this is like really buggy and stuff. But, uh, you know, all you need to do is click disable if you want to disable it. It says disabled requires restart. If we restart the game, the mod will not be enabled at all, but it will still be installed. So this is why the in-game mod manager is pretty cool. You could just do everything through uh, trophetools.net. This is the exact thing that trophetools.net does, except for you can do it in-game. So that's up to you if you want to do this. Like I said, you can just leave it as is without creating a team mod format. But if you want, you can enable it and disable it in-game. And, you know, you can see things that way. And hopefully, if you guys use this more often, then Tron will actually flush it out to be more useful. So that way you would actually want to use it over the trophetools.net program itself. Because you might as well just have the program up all the time anyway. So there's no point in using this. Just in case, though, that's what this video is for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And I will see you guys next time.